Chicago White Sox baseball brought to you by Miller. There's good enough and there's better than it has to be. Miller, good call. The Illinois Lottery. No matter how you play, play the Illinois Lottery. Have a ball. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalke, and I'm here with another series in the Chicago White Sox season that I am pre-playing. I actually skipped ahead a few games. We had a three games set against uh, Cleveland and two games against Oakland that were not recorded. And uh, regrettably, we went actually um, two and three in those games. We took two out of three from Cleveland, but we lost both to Oakland. Again, Oakland looking really good in this pre-play. And you can see that is from the fact that they are 49 and 40. They're still 15 games behind Houston, but Houston's very good. As you can see for us, we are uh, 46 and 41 and 10 games behind Minnesota and two and a half behind Cleveland. And today we have a four game set against the Minnesota Twins. So um, we would obviously, like at least a um, at least a split with them, and probably you know it would be great if we could take three out of four. So let's get on with the series. Um, as you can see, where is the game? Uh, it's going to be Giolito going up against Kentamaeda. And we will play that. It's set for manual, so um, we're going to switch them to computer. We are going to be human. Got Giolito going up. I will stick pretty much with that lineup. So we'll go with that, at least in the first game, and we'll see how it goes. So you got Tim Anderson leading off. And he's going to ground out to the shortstop. Lewis Robert is going to strike out. <clears throat> I should consider maybe switching this lineup a little bit, maybe to generate a little more offense than we're actually seem to be getting. Uh, Moncada's up. And as has been the norm. Um, lately, I will edit and or skip ahead as appropriate in games so that we don't have an hour plus video for you to watch to see what happens. I will try to edit it down as much as I can, and it looks like Polanco is going to have himself a single with one out. So in the bottom of the first, they, the Twins have a man aboard with one down and Donaldson up, and he is going to hit into a double play exactly what we needed. That brings us up in Encarnacion leading it off. And he is going to be hit by pitch and injured. Let's see how long. Yeah, okay, so he stays in the game. He's okay. Abreu is up and he is going to hit the ball to center field. One out to Buxton. And that uh, brings up Grandall. And Grandall is not going to get a single. He is going to be out. And that brings up Jimenez. And he is going to also be out. Just missed a home run. So Nelson Cruz stepping in, and he's going to hit a single. At least he's a rock on the base pads. So that brings up Mitch Garver. And Garver is going to hit a home run. Are you kidding? No, you're not kidding. So Minnesota takes a 2 nothing lead on a Mitch Garver jack. And that brings up Sonoso. And he's going to ground out, don't you know. And that brings up Buxton with one down, and he is also going to pop out. The damage, though, has really been done. And that brings up Jake Cave, and Cave is striking out. But 
Minnesota has a 2 nothing. lead. Oh, Giolito gets us out of it. But again, we go to the top of the six. We're still down by two, and we can't seem to touch Maida. Who hits, and Anderson hits the ground ball to second. And he's he's on. All right, he's aboard. And let's see if we can try to steal a base. And he makes it. So now we've got Anderson at second with no outs and Lewis Robert up and he is going to hit a fly ball. But Anderson may be able to advance to third on that. And I am going to, yeah, try that. And he does make it. And so now Anderson's at third with one out and Moncada up. And Moncada walks, so he's aboard. We have to avoid the double play here. Anything but a double play and made his tired. Nice. Yeah, I'm all for them taking made out. And so Encarnacion is up and he's going to pop out. So that's going to be the second out of the sixth for us. And that brings up a brave. And a brave rips a double. Nice. And let's see if Moncada can score on it. If I can at all send him, I'm going to. And I am, it's 80%. And he scores and ties the game. So yeah, we tied it up and Grandall is up against Harper. And now they take Harper out and they bring in Dice. And that's a strikeout. But we did tie the game. And we still got Giolito going strong. So that's a ground ball to short. Timmy Anderson, let's hope he plays it. And he does. Mitch Garver's up. Let's hope he doesn't hit one of his home runs. He does hit a fly ball, though, to Jimenez, and he's not good. It's going to be a double, probably. No, he made the play. Great. And so Noah's up, and he strikes out. So we got a chance now. We're back in this thing, and we go to the top of the seventh with Jimenez up. And he singles. So he's aboard. We got Mazzara up. Mazzara striking out to Dyson. Luis Garcia. Um, Luri Garcia. And Luri Garcia is going to hit a single. Two aboard. One down. Anderson up. Ah, I was hoping for the one column. All right. So he gets out. But he does move Jimenez and Garcia over. We got runners at second and third. Two down. Lewis Robert up. And he hits a ground ball to first. But that's a no. He might misplay it. Base hit. And that might score two. And it does. So we take the 4-2 to two lead. And we got Moncada up at the plate. And they bring in Sergio Romo. And he flies out. But we're holding a lead, and I'm guessing that Giolito can at least get through the seven. And he's going to face Buxton, who strikes out. And really, I need to pitch him as long as I can. He is going to force a ground ball by K. And Arias is up, and he is going to be singling. So Arias gets aboard. That brings up Kepler, and Kepler strikes out. So he gets out of the seventh. That's nice. We only got two innings left, and we got a 4-2 to two lead. And Canarcion, we could use to make it more, and he gets out. He's going to ground out to Polanco. Up steps Abreu. And Abreu's going to be out. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall is going to hit a single. And Jimenez is up at the plate, and he's out. We still got the lead, though. And as far as I know, Giolito's not tired, and he's pitching to Polanco. He's certainly going to pitch until he's not tired. And he strikes out Polanco. Now he's got Donaldson. Donaldson, he strikes him out. And now he's got Nelson Cruz, and he strikes out Cruz. He struck out the side. Yeah, he's tired, but I don't know. He may still go out there for the ninth. 
Mazar is up. We got a two run lead and Mazara strikes out. May is on the pitch for Saint or for Minnesota and Lurie Garcia is out. And Tim Anderson is up and he's out. And I'm gonna make defensive changes, but I'm gonna keep Giolito out there. Um, Madrigal is going to go in at second for Garcia. And Engel is going to go in at left field for Jimenez. And we're going to pitch to Garber, and he strikes out. Going to pitch to Sano, don't you know? And he hits the ball to center. That's... Uh, Lewis Robert on his horse. And he couldn't get it. It's a double. We're still up by two, though. And Buxton strikes out. So now the Twins are down to their last out in game one with Cave up. And he gets a fly ball if that isn't. Um... And it's caught. Yeah, so that's it. We win. You like that? So Giolito goes the distance, allows only two runs on six hits and two walks, striking out 12, and we uh, get a big victory against the Twins, which takes us to game two of the series, which we will play day on And uh, we're going up against Odorizzi with Ronaldo Lopez. And I am going to, for this game, I'm going to actually put Mendick in at second. And not Garcia. And everything else will leave the same. And away we go. Tim Anderson, day game, love those day games. And Tim Anderson is going to lead off with a line out. Close to a single, but not quite. That brings up Lewis Robert. And he walks. So Robert's aboard. Odorizzi's a negative six, though, so I'm not going anywhere. Moncada up at the plate and strikes out. And Encarnacion up and striking out. So we got nothing in the first. Kepler comes up. He walks to lead off for the Twins. Polanco up and Polanco hitting a triple. And the Twins jump on top again, just like they did in game one. However, in game one, they did have a two run lead for a very long time, and they're about to get another two-run lead. But they had a two-run lead for quite a bit of that game, but where they ended up losing. And Cruz, it looks like, is out. So the Twins strike quickly in game two and um, have a two-nothing lead. Garver out. And Abreu is up at the plate, leading off for us and he's out. Grandall is up with one down and he gets a single. So Grandall works his way aboard. Jimenez up and Jimenez striking out. And Mazzara up at the plate and he is going to hit a ground ball to short. That's Polanco. And that's a base hit. Nice. And that brings up Mendick. And Mendick is going to fly out. So we get out of the inning with no runs. We go to the bottom of the second. Twins leading 2 nothing, And that's going to be a fly out for Rosario. Brings up Miguel Sano. Sano is going to be out. Flying out the center field. 
And that brings up Buxton, and Buxton strikes out. That brings up Timmy Anderson. Timmy A. Timmy A with an out. Lewis Robert is going to swing away. He hits a fly ball to right. And that brings up Moncada. And he walks. I mean, the secret may be to knock Odorizzi out of the game like we did um, their game one starter. And that's a walk for Encarnacion. And... Uh, Ryu. Yeah, we knocked Ryu out of game one. So, Abreu, come on, hit a home run, man. No. Going to strike out. So, we go to the bottom of the third. And out for Adrianza leading off for the Twins. Kepler's up with one out, and he's going to line out to short. Our pitching is actually doing quite well. It's just, again, the run production is a little low. And even last game, we won that game 4-2. to two. It's not an awful lot of runs for an offense like this. So you have Grandall stepping up. He swings away. And it looks like he's going to be out. He is. Jimenez up. He's going to swing away. He's out. And that brings up Mazzara. And he is going to ground out. So we get nothing in the fourth. Donaldson up in the bottom of the fourth. He's going to hit the ball out of Bray. Let's make the play of Bray. Ah, he bobbled the ball for an error. So now Donaldson's aboard and Cruz is up. But Cruz strikes out. So Lopez gets Cruz and now Garber is up. He's got to get him. And he doesn't. He hits a single. Robert with the negative forearm, no, holds him. And then we've got Rosario out on a line out. And so no up the plate, and so no striking out. So despite getting in a little trouble there, Lopez gets out of it. We go to the top of the fifth with Mendick. And Mendick hits a single, ripping a single. That brings up Tim Anderson. Come on. Nice. He hits a double. And Mendick can run a little bit. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to hold it. 65, I'm going to hold. No outs. We got Robert up, and he strikes out. That brings up Moncada. And Moncada hits the ball at second. That's Adrian's. So let's see what happens. Base hit. Got through. Do two runs score? Yes. And Odorizzi is tired. They may take him out. It's 2-2. Two two. They don't take him out yet, though. And Encarnacion flies out for the second out. And Abreu is up. They're going to keep him in for the face the righty, and he gets a shortstop ground ball. But we do, again, tie the game. And Buxton is up with a fly ball. And again, Lopez, same thing as with Giolito. I really want to keep him in as long as he can stay in because there's a walk to Adrianza. Because the bullpen for this team is really not that good. Don't know if you've been briefed on that, but it isn't. But Kepler rips a single. So the Twins have the first two guys on here in the fifth, in their fifth. Polanco up, and he hits, thankfully, a ground ball double play. So we go to the top of the sixth. And they and now they bring in Dyson. And that's a single for Randall. Nice. Jimenez up. And Jimenez is going to hit a single. Uh, I'm going to hold the runners. Mazar is up. And he is going to hit a ground ball B. But that'll put runners at the corners with one out. And that brings up Mendick. And Mendick is going to hit a ground ball third base B. I'm going to hold the runner. Now we got runners at second and third. Two away with Tim Anderson up. And he is out. In his column, too. 
So Donaldson leads off for the Twins in the bottom of the sixth, and he's going to hit a ground ball ball and be out. Cruz is up, and Cruz just rips a double, just a plain, everyday double. With Garver up, and that's going to be a pass ball or a wild pitch, whichever one it was. And there's a strikeout. We needed the strikeout big. And that brings up Rosario. I'll pitch to him, and he is going to hit a single and knock in the run and put the Twins ahead. I'm going to keep. Uh, I'm going to keep Lopez out there at least for Sanel. And he's going to hit a fly ball, so he gets out of the inning, but the Twins do take a 3-2 to two lead. In the sixth, we go to the seventh. Lewis Robert up. He strikes out. And a lot of these rolls, it's funny because a lot of the rolls are on our card. And we're still not getting good hits. That's going to be a single go for Moncada with one out. And Encarnacion up. You would hope he would hit a home run here, but no, he hits a double into a double play. I'm going to start at least with Lopez and see what happens. And he gets Buxton to pop out, even though he's tired. Adrianza up, and he strikes out, even though, again, Lopez is tired. And Kepler is up, and he strikes out. He strikes out. No, he didn't strike out the side, but he did get them one, two, three. So we go to the top of the eighth. We're still only losing by a run. We got Abreu up at the plate, and he's out. Grandal up. And he's going to hit a ground ball at second. That's Adrianza. Let's see if he can uh, throw the ball away. He doesn't, though, and that brings up Jimenez. Let's see if he can tie the game. He can't. And I am going to take uh, Lopez out now. So um, we're going to go and get going to go get C Shack and put him in. He's been better lately, so, I mean, he hasn't been good on the year, but he walks Blanco to lead off. Then Donaldson comes up, and Donaldson hits into a double play, which he really needed. And now that brings up Cruz, and Cruz is going to hit the ball at Moncada. Hopefully he makes the play and gets us out of here. And he is, so that's an out. So here we go. We need a run right here, or we lose the game. Mazzara up against Rogers, and he strikes out. Mendick up, and he's out. And that, I think, will bring up Anderson. And it does. And he strikes out. We lose the game 3-2. <laughs> So, not very good. So, we're 47 and 42. Let's go see what the standings look like before we go to the second two games. We are still 10 back. And now we're two, only two back of Cleveland. We were two and a half. Um, so, we're two back of Cleveland, 10 back of Minnesota. 47 and 42. Uh, we're close to even the um, the wild card because the the second and third, well, the tied for second place teams up in the East are Boston and Tampa Bay at 44 and 38. We're only two behind Cleveland, and we are three or so, roughly, yes, three behind Oakland. So we're right there in the wild card race. So with that, let's go to game three. Let's see if we can score some runs here, like score a ton of runs and just make it a no-brainer that we're going to win. We got Dylan Cease going up, and I'm going to this game, I'm going to put in 
Um, I'm going to put Mendick in at second. And uh, let's lead off with Robert. Oh, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, here we go. Let's lead Robert off. And let's even bat Moncada second. And then see what that does. Trying to change things up a little bit. Get us going. Uh, another night game. Robert leading off on the top of the first. And he hits a double one to nine. And I know that wasn't a hit on Anderson's card. It is a single, but he might be able to steal. Let's try it. And he is safe. So Mancata up with him at second, and he walks. Here's That's what I'm talking about. And now Anderson, and that's going to be a pass ball. So the runners will move up to second and third. The double play is out of, uh, out of bounds here, and he hits a pop-up. So that's one down and Canarsie own up and he hits a fly ball. So that will score Robert. So we're going to take a one nothing lead. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Runner on second. Yeah, I'm going to try to do that. 90% chance. So now we have Abreu up with two down and a man at third, 90 feet away. And he is going to fly out. But we did score a run. We did an awful lot to try to score just one run, but we did get a run. So Kepler leads off and strikes out to cease. Polanco is up. He is going to hit a ground ball to second. And that brings up Sano, don't you know? And he's going to hit the ground ball to Anderson. And he's out. So Grandall up, he's going to swing away, and he hits a fly ball. I missed two home runs. Jimenez up. He's going to hit a double. Nice. He's ripping a double for Jimenez with one out here in the second. So maybe we can take another, uh, put and tag another run on our lead. With Mazzara up, and he triple ones, which is probably going to do it. I'm going to send him. I'm going to hold the trailing runner, and he does score. And so we do get a two-run lead, tack on to it. And I'm going to see about stealing. Let's see if we can do it. No, drops to 20%. I'm not going to try that. Mendick up, and Mendick striking out. So there's two down. Lewis Robert up, and he's out. But this lineup definitely is working a little better. So Cruz up at the plate, and he is going to ground out. Rosario up, and he's going to walk. Garber up. And Garber walking, so the the second two guys get on after a leadoff out, and then Reyes is up, and he is going to hit a ground ball. Shortstop B, which will put runners at the corners, with two down, and Adrianza, and that's going to be a pass ball that scores a run, and now Adrianza up, and he grounds out. But the Twins do get one of the runs back on a pass ball, and Moncada up to lead off here in the third and he leads off with a single yeah this was definitely a good lineup change uh, i'm going to try to steal see if we can do it and he does do it and so Moncada's at second with anderson up and he singles let's see if they score Moncada. no i'm gonna leave it but anderson has a chance to steal second so let's try it. I'm 
Not going to. Not 50%. I'm not going to do it at 50%. Encarnacion strikes out. One down. Abreu up, and Abreu strikes out, and that brings up Grandall, and Grandall pops out. So, I guess stealing second wouldn't have mattered anyway. Ostadillo is up to lead off for the Twins in the bottom of the third, and he lines out for the first out. Cease pitching great here. Kepler is up, and he grounds out. So that's two down for the Twins here in the third. We're leading 2-1, and Polanco up at the plate, and he flies out. So that brings up Jimenez. Jimenez is going to be out. Mazzara up. And he's going to line out. And then that brings up Mendick. And Mendick lines out. So, no runs for us in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Sano leading off for the Twins. And he's out. Nelson Cruz up. Single. Now, I should say... That really, as disappointed as I am in our offense, the Twins have a great offense too, and it's not like they're burning the world out. But this is going to probably be a double because it was a fly ball right field, and that's Mazzara, who's a four. Second and third for the Twins, one down, Garver up, and Garver is hit by pitch. And he has to sit out the rest of the game, so that's pretty good. And then Arreyes steps up, and he hits a ground ball to third. Unless this is a double play, we got issues. And no, it's an error. It's even worse. He didn't not, He didn't even get an out. Base is still loaded, but Adrianza strikes out. So there's two down, and the Twins have tied the game at two, and Austin Dillow's up, and he is going to hit a double and score two runs. So a lot of trouble coming up our way. I'm going to try to throw for the lead runner, but it, we don't get him. So they've got a 5-2 to two lead. And then, and then Mazzara decides to make the play. So we got to get three runs here. Robert up. And he's going to be out. Brings up Moncada. He strikes out. And that brings up Tim Anderson. And Tim Anderson strikes out. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Polanco up. And Polanco is ripping a double. That's not good. Nothing good about that. Sano is up with a man at second, and he is going to uh, out. Cruz up, up, and Cruz striking out. And Rosario is up at the plate, and he hits a single. Hopefully this won't score the run, but we'll see. Got to throw for the run. And he doesn't score, and we nailed it. Mazzara got him. Nice. So they maintain a 5-2 to two lead, and Encarnacion is up and striking out. Abreu is up, striking out. And Grandal is up, and he's out. So we're not doing very well at all. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Avila is up at the plate for the injured Garber. He grounds third. Mancata there. And he makes the play and he's out. Arreyes is up. Arreyes is out. 
We're down by three, so we've got to hold them, and then we've got to get back into this thing. So Jimenez is up in the top of the seventh. Time is running out for us here in the third game. There's a catcher card. Threw the ball away, so yeah, Jimenez is up on first, and Mazzara up at the plate. And he's hit by pitch. So we get the first two guys on with no outs, which is sweet. Mendick up. And Mendick is going to fly out. God. Could you have worse luck? That brings up Lewis Robert. And he strikes out, of course. Moncada. Moncada is going to hit the ball at shortstop. That's a two. No, he makes, he boots it. Nice. Tim Anderson. And Tim Anderson gets out. I mean, you can't make this up. All right, bottom of the seventh. Hostadillo up at the plate. He walks. Kepler is up. Kepler is going to hit a home run. So really now it doesn't even matter. I mean, well, maybe there was a chance we would get three runs, but we're not going to get five. I'm going to let uh, Cease keep going this inning, even if he gets tired. But he strikes a guy out, and he's not tired. And then Snow up with one out, and he walks him. Going to get tired soon. Yeah, like right now. But I'm going to keep him out there. Nelson Cruz up at the plate. He hits a ground ball double play. So Cease gets out of it. But there is really no chance of us coming back, I don't think. And that's going to be a fly ball, probably, unless it's one of those, like, the outfielder trying to get it at the wall. And it uh, was a he did make the play. So there's one out and a Bray up, and he singles. Grandall up, and he's going to hit in with double play. Pineda's tired, but I don't think that matters. Um, we're going to take Cease out. We will put in Benuelos. Benuelos is our junk pitcher. But he gets an out for the first out for Rosario. Avila up, and Avila strikes out. And that brings up Arreyes. And Arreyes is out, so Benuelos gets the side. But, you know, we're not going to score enough runs to tie the game here in the ninth anyway. Jimenez up. And he is going to hit a ground ball at short. That's Polanco. That's an out. Mazzara up. Mazzara hitting a single. Good for Mazzara. Doesn't really matter for us. Mendick up at the plate. Mendick with a ground ball double play. So that's the, that's the game. You suck! Right there. Twins win it 7-2, and we go to game four of the series. We're 47-43. and 43. And so we find ourselves in a situation where we got to win the last game of the series in order to split with the Twins, which I would take. Now, we do have to edit the lineup. We have some guys that have been playing way too much. We'll put McCann in. We will put Engel in at center field for um, Robert. Put him down at the bottom of the lineup. We will put Delmonico in for Abreu and put him at the bottom of the lineup. Got to do this. You got to rest the players. I know it doesn't give us the greatest chance of winning, but 
What are you going to do? Anderson leading off. Maybe it works. You know, who knows? Anderson leads off with a single against Barrios. I'm going to try to steal him. Let's see if it works. No, and it drops to 45%, so I'm not going to try that. That's a strikeout by Mancata. And Canarcion strikes out, two down. And McCann up at the plate, and he is going to hit a single. So we got two runners aboard. Jimenez up. And Jimenez is going to be a catcher card X. It gets away from Garber, so a run comes in. Nice. And Jimenez up at the plate. And Jimenez is going to fly out. We got to get those split home runs. We just got to get them. All right. So we did score a run, though, and we take a one nothing lead. And now there's a ground ball. Gonzalez getting Kepler to lead off and ground out. Polanco up. He strikes out. And Donaldson up at the plate, and he grounds out. So we maintain the one nothing lead. Nazara up the plate. And maybe he got a double out of that. That would be sweet, wouldn't it? He did. Garcia up, and maybe a pass ball moves him to third. And now Garcia just has to put the ball in play, and he does in a big way with a single. So that knocks in the second run for us, where I had 2 nothing. Garcia, 80% chance. Let's take a shot at it, see what happens. Nope, 40%. I'm not going to do that. Delmonico Stake is up at the plate, and he is going to single. So Delmonico gets a single. He's contributing. You got Engel up at the plate, and he strikes out. So one out, and Tim Anderson up with two on, and he flies out. Not really what you want to see. And now Moncada. And Moncada flies out. But we did get another run. Of course, if we just keep scraping one run here and one run there, the Twins are going to explode on us like they just did with a triple by Cruz. I mean, this is an explosive lineup. You can't just scrape a run here, scrape a run there, and think you're going to beat the Twins. Rosario with a ground ball, and Cruz also, by the way, only got a double out of that, I guess, because he never hit a triple that season. And that is going to be a ground ball, but let's see what happens. I'm going to throw for the runner. And I think we got him. We did. And now Arreyes is up, and Arreyes strikes out. So the Twins make a foolish running error. And we still maintain a 2 nothing lead. Now let's see if we can even eke away more at that. And and Encarnacion might have hit a home run or a double here. He's got a double. That brings up McCann. McCann is going to hit a single. I'm going to hold the runner. Of course, it's Encarnacion. He's only 40% going for the extra base. And that's going to be a three-run home run by Jimenez. And we got a 5 nothing lead in game. Now I'm feeling pretty good about it. And what did I say? You know, you put in the backups and then all of a sudden you have a great game. So one down, Garcia up. And Garcia's walking. 80%, let's give him a shot. Let's see what he can do. 40%, I'm going to try it. I'm just crazy, and he's out. And so that brings up Del Monaco, and he strikes out. But we got a 5 nothing lead. I was playing with house money, so I decided to give it a whirl. So no, it's going to ground out. And Gonzalez is pretty good, and we have a really um, rested bullpen. I mean, everybody's available. 
We got a ground ball to Garcia. Hopefully he can make the play. But he doesn't. And then we got Kepler up. And Kepler is going to hit a fly ball to the center, but that's angled, so he should play the ball. He's got it. Fine running catch. Moves the runner to second, though, and then a ground ball, and they're out of the inning. So this brings up Engel, and he flies out. Now, this would be a perfect time to bring in a game like this, to bring in Robert as a defensive replacement, but I'm going to give him the game off totally. So... We've got a fly ball by Anderson, which will be the second out of the inning here in the fourth, and Moncada up at the plate. And he singles. So we've got one aboard with two down. And Encarnacion up, and he flies out. So no runs for us in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Donaldson's going to lead it off with a ground out. Nelson Cruz is up, and he is going to fly out, thankfully. Could have been a home run. But no, it's a fly out. And that brings up Rosario. And Rosario is going to line out. McCann, who's two for two, and spelling on the main man, Doll, he gets out. Jimenez up. I'm going to let him swing away. He strikes out. And that brings up Mazzara. And he's going to swing away. And he's going to be out. So we're, it's getting late for the Twins. It's the bottom of the fifth here. Garver leading off and being out. That's good. And Gonzalez is pitching out of his mind, too. I got to add that. Arreyes is up. And Arreyes is going to be out. And Sano is up the plate. And Sano walks. Buxton up. And Buxton striking out. So Gonzalez just cruising. It's on cruise control. And Garcia up at the plate with a single so he's two for two on the day let's see if he can try to steal you never know let's give it a shot and he does steal it and now del monaco is up and i'm just gonna let him see what can what he can do and he can't really do much Fly, flies out to center where buxton has a negative three arm so we're not going anywhere probably on that angle up and angle striking out and that brings up Anderson, Tim Anderson, and Tim Anderson hitting the ground ball at Polanco. Let's see if he can get through. And it doesn't. But we still have a 5 nothing lead. Kepler up. And Gonzalez continues to deal. With Polanco at the plate. And he is going to be out. He is just dealing, man. And Donaldson up. And Donaldson walks. Cruz at the plate. And Cruz hits a double. What will actually be a double because he never had a triple. But that doesn't even score Donaldson. So uh, Rosario is going to be out and the Twins come away empty-handed yet again. Moncada at the plate, and he singles. And Canarcion up, and he's going to hit it in a double play. McCann, who's two for three, is up at the plate and swimming away, and he is going to be out. So the seventh is over. I'm going to make a defensive replacement here. Oh, wait. Wrong team. Defensive replacement, I am going to put... Um,
I'm going to put Madrigal in at second base for Garcia at least, so that we at least have that. And um, Garver is going to strike out to lead off for the Twins in the bottom of the seventh. Arias up, and he walks. Sano is up at the plate. Sano strikes out. Gonzalez wasn't tired, so that's a real strikeout. And Buxton is up. Byron Buxton, and he grounds out. So at least Gonzalez got his at least seven. Yeah, he's tired. I may actually take him out um, in the eighth. Jimenez up at the plate. Because even though our bullpen is not that great, it should be good enough to hold a five to nothing lead. Going to swing away with Mazzara. He's out. And that brings up Madrigal. And Madrigal's hit by pitch. And that brings up Delmonico. And Delmonico strikes out. And Barrios will be tired when we come back, but I'm taking Gonzalez out. We're going to put in, going to put in Fry to start off things. See what that does. He gets a pop out up to Kepler. Polanco up and Polanco is going to single. Donaldson's up, and Donaldson strikes out. And Nelly Cruz is up. He's two for three, and he walks. Which brings up Rosario. And Rosario is going to hit a single and not get a run. Fry's tired, but I want to see if he can get out of the inning at least. And he can't. Right there. Out of single. The Twins are now down 5-2, to two, and they're bringing up um, Gonzalez, who is going to be out. So he gets out of the inning, but he does allow the Twins two runs. We have a 5-2 to two lead with Engel up at the plate. Ground ball to second. Marwin, marvelous Marwin, makes the play. Tim Anderson up, and he strikes out. And Moncada is up. And he singles. So we're still alive here in the top of the ninth. And Canarcion up. And he hits a ground ball to first. That's a no. Let's see if he can pop it through. He does. So we got runners at second and third with two down. And McCann is going to hit a fly ball to right. That's Kepler. He'll probably make the play. And he does. So now we're going to take Fry out of the game. Um, he's facing Sano, who's a righty. So let's go get a righty. Jimmy Cordero. And he strikes him out. Buxton up. And Buxton's out. And it looks like we are going to split with the Twins. Kepler's up. And he flies out. And that's exactly what happens. We have a split with the Twins. Two and two. Which puts us at 48 and 43. Ten games still behind the Twins. Because we split with them. And the win going to uh, Gonzalez, who is now 5-10 and 10 on the season, and the save going to Cordero. That's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke.